Hey everybody, this is Mike again, and I want to help clear the air with um, some confusion. Um, obviously, Unity Intercom is getting worldwide attention, and that's very exciting. I'm super excited to be a part of that. However, I do want to help simplify some of the first experiences to what Unity Intercom is and the licenses. And, you know, the big question that I have from people, they're saying, okay, I've been told we're going to get Unity Intercom. I don't understand what I need to actually buy. Um, here's Here it is real quick. So let's, let's keep this simple and clean. What's a Unity Intercom system? A Unity Intercom system has two parts to it mainly. There's the Unity server side. That's software that's simply downloaded from our website and installed on the, on a Mac computer, only on a Mac computer. We call it the Unity server, but it's, it's the Unity software. It contains all of the settings for Unity Intercom. All the audio is going to be routed in and out of the Mac computer. That's where you're going to create your usernames and your passwords for which people will then log into their devices using that information. So Unity Intercom basically contains two parts, the server software running on a Mac computer and the talk and listen clients, which are free to download. And we have them available for Mac and PC, iOS, Android, uh, various touch clients. Um, so the next part is, okay, so how do, what do I need to buy to get going? Uh, I typically use one of our larger client bases are TV stations. And so I'll reference TV stations a lot, but so to get started with Unity intercom, everybody has to buy relatively the same things. It's really not that bad. There's just a couple of things that make up a standard unity intercom system. Then there's a few other optional things, but for the most part, well, 100% across the board, everyone has to buy what we call a base license. The base license is essentially licensing the Mac. You're licensing the Unity Intercom server itself. So a base license um, comes with three user licenses. So that means that with the purchase of a base license, again, everyone has to buy that. That's where you start. You have three users that can actually log into the system. You would then, of course, need to buy more to go beyond that, which basically everyone does. Um, but I also want to mention the next item. You pretty much will find everyone buying an I.O. license. So there's the base license, remember, which is licensing the Mac that gets you going. The I.O. license, which allows you to connect to an I.O. device. That's your in and out license. So without this license, you're going to be severely limited. You can't connect to a soundboard or a third party comm system like an RTS or clear comm system. Um, and it's one of our lesser expensive items. So I pretty much assume everyone needs the base. Everyone needs the IO. Next, we're going to need licenses and we sell them in groups, two, five, and 10 user license packs. So for example, if you bought a base license, you bought the IO of course, and you bought a 10 user license pack, that would give you a total of 13 users. Because remember, three come with the base license. You're actually done potentially at this point because we have we have our base license. Remember, these are one-time purchases, not subscriptions. You have your I.O. and you have a, a user pack. So with this right here, 13 people can log into my Unity Intercom system. And we have the ability with the I.O. license to connect to other audio devices. And I can bring that into my Unity Intercom. So without the advanced program feed license right here, I would be limited to one IFB or program audio feed. I could only have one. Um, if I purchase the advanced program feed license, I can have 64. That for most of our customers, that's a big one. Um, so usually a typical Unity Intercom system is gonna look like this. It's gonna have the advanced program feed license. Now, maybe about 50% of the time, um, maybe 40, they'll opt for the next one, which is the expanded channels and groups option. The expanded channels and groups option allows you to have more than just one default group. And instead of six channels, you can make 128 channels. However, each group is going to only be showing you when you log in to a group, you're going to see six channels no matter what. However, 
people that have purchased the expanded channels and groups option, they're going to have the ability to make more than one group. And that second group could have six unique channels. So I can, I'm right now in this picture, I'm in the field group. I can press this right arrow and I can hop back to the station group and it might be com six completely different channels. And you can use those 128 channels to make multiple unique groups. Those groups can actually consist of some of the same channels to help people stay in touch with multiple groups. But anyway, so not to get too far into that, um, what I'm showing you here, I'll stop here as far as showing you licenses. There's a few other licenses um, that do some cool things and some additional functionality, um, but this is your core stuff. You know, again, expanded channels and groups and the advanced are a little bit optional. Um, but this right here is your basic Unity intercom system that I've just shown you. You might want the advanced program feed, especially if you're a TV station uh, and you may, you may want the expanded channels and groups. So that is essentially a Unity intercom system. Now, just since I have your attention here, I'll show you guys a visual here of a typical Unity intercom system installed in a TV station, and, or it could, could be, you know, could be a company of any kind. Um, you know, we work with production companies, and we work with all kinds of things. We we have fishing vessels in, um, you know, <laughs> near near Russia that use Unity intercom. Um, but in this case, yeah, this TV station, and it is a non Dante TV station. What I mean by that is this particular RTS uh, Atom, this is the Atom M frame, this is not going to have an Omnio card. Um, an Omnio card is going to use Dante, and we can interface with Dante without needing an I.O. device. In this case, we have a 16 by 16 Motu 16A as our I.O. device. And we're taking up to 16 um, audio feeds from RTS, bringing it into the Motu, making those available to Unity Intercom, and those IFB and mixes and um, program feeds are available to everybody out in the field. And in the case of Dante, where we have an Omnio card, or we have Dante, uh, it's even simpler. We don't need the Motu. We don't need any hardware. We just need the Dante Virtual Sound Card. That software that's downloaded from Audinate, put on the computer, and that becomes our sound card, our virtual sound card, our, and that's our I.O. device, so to speak. So the Unity server, using Dante Virtual Sound Card, is actually going to grab those audio feeds, over uh, those Dante audio feeds over the network, and it's going to be able to interface that directly with Unity Intercom, making that available to everybody out in the field. So Dante is real easy when you, when it, when you have that option. Um, or we with, without that's no problem. We like the Motu 16A for a for a, for a device there. But um, yeah, I just that's about it. I think that I wanted to you know do a quick video showing you guys. Hey, what do I need to purchase? What what, what makes up a typical Unity intercom system? There you go. Um, you know, a typical inter, intercom system once again is gonna it's gonna be this to start with a base, the I/O, some user licenses. Um, oftentimes it's going to be a, it's going to be a little more muscle to it. It's going to have the advanced and the expanded channels and groups. And again, I'm Mike Marston. You can call up and ask for me anytime. We're here to help. We appreciate you guys. And just, uh, thanks for watching.